All right, I just got the Chung and Mon's house, and we're doing uh, beer tastings, but it's the uh, Christmas in July case, and we're doing a blind, so this will be interesting. Um, can number nine pours a pale gold color, slightly hazy. On the nose, there's plenty of hops there. A little bit oxidized. Um, sort of so very piney citrus character, like grapefruit. Well, we, we have a soda water but um, there's soda plenty water of bready malt there as well, like a little bit sweet malt. Um, smells smells biggish. Well, maybe not that big. No, it's quite cold. But in the mouth, you got. Clean bready malt. Uh, you got there's um, moderate hops, like it's not as hoppy as it smelled on the nose initially. Um, but you got some nice grapefruit, citrus character there. Good firm bitterness, uh, medium medium light body, nice dry finish. Uh, almost getting hints of tropical fruits in there, maybe some pineapple or something. Um, carbonation's medium high. Um, it's easy drinking. I'm gonna guess an an XPA or a gold nail. Um, it might be a pale ale, but doesn't have that um, that sort of caramel malt body in the background. Anyway, we'll find out what it is right now. Yeah. Jesus, do they glue these things on? Ah. Ah, there we go. Hope oh, XPA. <laughs> wow, I got one right. Awesome. Anyway, it's uh, what percentage are we got? Uh, 4.7%. Nice and hoppy. I uh, don't know when it was bottled, bottled or canned. Um, 24th of May 2018 is first before, so I assume 24th of May, about four months ago. Anyway, um, yeah, that's quite nice.